Okay, let's go for question number 48. Coefficient of x11 in the expansion of 1 plus x square whole to the power 4 multiplied with 1 plus x cube whole to the power 7 multiplied with 1 plus x4 whole to the power 12 is. So we expand all and we simply need to find out the coefficient of x11. Let's look at these terms x square, x cube and x4. We can arrange like this one. We need x11. So x cube must be there with odd power. x cube to the power 1, x cube to the power 3. Right? Now if I take x cube to the power 1. Now the possibilities for x square and x4. If the power of x square is 0. Then we have so far obtained power 3. We need power 11. Means the power of x4 should be 2. Similarly if instead of 0 we take it as 2. Then we find 3 plus 4, 7, the power can be 1. If I take it 1 and this one as 4, so it gives me 3 plus 8, 11 means it should be 0. So these are the three possibilities with power of x cube as 1. Next, if the power of x cube is 3, that is 9 is covered. The only possibility left is x square to the power 1 and x4 to the power 0. Whole to the power for these terms are 4, 7 and 12 respectively. So we need the result as 4C0, 7C1, 12C2. Product of these three. For this one, 1 plus x square whole to the power 4 is there. I am looking for the power of x square as 2 means 4C2, 7C1, 12C1. 4C1, 7C1, 12C0. This is 4C4. Next, 4C1, 7C3 and 12C0 again. Just simplify all and add to get the final result as 1113. So the required numbers it is 1113. Let's move to the next question 49. Let small f from 0 to 2 to r be a function which is continuous on closed interval 0 to 2 and differentiable on open interval 0 to 2 with f0 equals 1. Another function capital F is described as 0 to x square f of root t dt. If f dash x equals small f dash x for all x in the interval 0 to 2, I have to find f2. Again, simple some calculation required. First, let's differentiate the function. This is f of x into 2x. Given to me equals f dash x. So, if I see it as dy by dx, this is 2xy dy upon y is equal to 2x dx or log y equals x square plus some constant say log c. That gives me y equals c into e to the power x square. With the given condition f0 equals 1. When I substitute here 0 and 1 I obtain c here as 1 otherwise simplifying when we eliminate log we get y equals e to the power x square means function small fx as e to the power x square now capital f 0 to x square f of root t that is e t dt integrating we get e t under the limit 0 to x square So it is e to the power x square minus 1. The question is find f of 2. f of 2 that is e4 minus 1. So correct answer is b. Let's move to the next one. Okay now turn for question number 50. 
the function y equals fx is the solution of the differential equation dy by dx plus xy upon x square minus 1 equals x to the power 4 plus 2x divided by root 1 minus x square in minus 1 to 1 satisfying f0 equals 0 then I have to find the value of the given integral minus root 3 by 2 to plus root 3 by 2 fx dx fine let's start it Given differential equation, we can see it is linear differential equation. So let's find out the integrating factor e to the power integral x upon x square minus 1 dx. Since x is between minus 1 and 1, so clearly this term will be negative. I can rewrite it as e to the power minus x upon 1 minus x square dx multiply divide by 2 so that I can see when it is t minus 2x dx becomes dt so it is equal to e to the power half log 1 minus x square modulus since 1 minus x square is positive so in place of modulus if I put a simple bracket that's also fine so it is root of 1 minus x square Hence, the solution of the differential equation is y root 1 minus x square equals integral of this term multiplied with integrating factor that is x4 plus 2x dx that is x5 by 5 plus x square plus constant. It is given f0 is 0, put x and y 0, 0. So we get c as 0. Hence, the function fx is simply x5 by 5 plus x square divided by root of 1 minus x square. Now the question is integral of this function within the boundaries minus root 3 by 2 to plus root 3 by 2. So let's put it here minus root 3 by 2 to plus root 3 by 2 fx dx equals correct same minus root 3 by 2 to plus root 3 by 2 fx dx when I separate it I see the first term is odd function that will become 0 second is even so the result can be written as twice 0 to root 3 by 2 x square upon root 1 minus x square dx by substituting x equals sine theta dx becomes cos theta d theta denominator is cos theta cancelled out this can be written twice 0 to pi by 3 sine square theta d theta with substitution x equals sine theta fine now 2 sine square theta can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta and can be integrated theta minus sine 2 theta upon 2 limit 0 to pi by 3 on substituting pi by 3 to this term we get pi by 3 minus root 3 by 4 on substituting 0 we get 0 only so the final result we obtain pi by 3 minus root 3 divided by 4 correct let's move to the next one